Hey, I'm Bennett, and this is a very special edition of Living My Alaska. That right there, everyone, is the mountain they call the High One, Mount McKinley, also known as Denali. It's the highest point in North America, and it's in our backyard. We have so much more to share with you this evening as we go looking for bears. It's a Just looking downhill at a beautiful looking river. Something I definitely want to uh, float and fish one day. I think that's Cache Creek. ourselves way back in here. There are not many people, not much traffic back in here. And on my chest I have a 44 Magnum revolver and binoculars. And in this black case right here is my rifle. And I'm carrying this pistol for protection because I could come around one of these corners and there could be a very angry moose or a bear that would jump on top of me. And my only shot at protecting myself would be this pistol. This will give you an idea where we are in general. This is Cash Creek Cabin. One mile. Something you guys might find really interesting, this area of Alaska is um, pretty popular for mining still to this day. There's mining activity, mostly gold mining being done back here. And it's not, you know, big, huge operations. It might just be one guy with a couple of buckets and an act. And this mining sign right here says it all. Mining claim, and that's a mining claim number that somebody's mining claim. No panning, no sluicing, no dredging, because somebody has a claim here on this area to do Gold mining, interesting thing to see old Alaska here, very historic areas. And a notice on the ground here is a for sale sign. And it says that this land is for sale, 40 acre mining claim with a digger. And it gives a phone number. A digger is like a, um, a machine that digs holes into the ground. It gives a name and a phone number. Could be fun. Okay, we're making our way and back deeper into the back country of Alaska. We are probably um, two to three hours from the nearest small town, anything called civilization. It's extreme back here and it's absolutely beautiful and wild. This is my neighbor. Good friends, name is Kyle, YouTube channel called Wicked Alaska, and we're doing some collaborating. I love mountain streams. Kyle's back there looking for something. I assume he's looking for trout. We did bring um, some lightweight fishing tackle with us just in case we find a fishing stream somewhere. We haven't found any bears yet. Remarkable place. Mr. Kyle has a brand new Yamaha 450 Kodiak ATV and this is his first time getting it wet. It'll be fun to watch. Oh, that's a good time. It's our turn. Yeah. Welcome to Cash Creek Cabins. Apparently we can gold fan for 35 bucks per day here. Considering gold is about $2,300 an ounce, might want to try it. Do they mean gold panning out of this creek right here? <laughs> So that was your first crossing on your new fancy machine. Yeah, I got up to like here. Yeah. Piece cake. Good machine. Overnight cabins. Great little place to visit. I don't see anybody around. It's unclear whether it's still operational or not. We are in an active mining claim area where there are a lot of miners doing their thing for gold out here. It's a really beautiful place, this little riverbed deep into these mountains. And I can only imagine how miserably cold it would be up here in the winter. Kyle is considering testing his new four-wheeler out in this very deep water. I'm not sure if that's such a good idea or not. It's moving pretty fast. Yeah, it looks deep. It's deep. <laughs> and this is this is a light machine too. Yeah, so. it might carry it. Go that way a little ways and just yeah, see where sure. it goes. Yeah, sure. Let's go see. We're exploring and this is what's so fun about it. We will go see over what is across that next hill. And eventually we will turn around because we're quite probably three to four hours away from home right now. At least three hours away from anything remotely calling civilization. Absolutely in love with this area. It's our first time visiting this area. We are definitely going to come back for more. Welcome to Cash Creek Cabin. We're 25 miles from the nearest highway, way back in rural Alaska. What a beautiful place this is. We have 
have in the back here is a mining claim. You can see the equipment behind me. This is a small operation, very small operation. Might even be a hobby. And this is the typical backcountry mining claim and small mining claim in rural Alaska. They are looking for gold here. This is a gold mine. Second river crossing in his brand new Yamaha. <laughs> deeper that time. <laughs> I mean, you had water like right here. <laughs> the river almost got me. Did you hear the muffler? The muffler started gurgling. I know. <laughs> going for a cruise on his new ATV, enjoying the late evening sun, the mid-June day, early summer Alaska. Still looking for bears? Haven't seen any. So we're taking a little break here, enjoying this late evening sun. Fantastic six-wheeler by Can-Am. But there's something I want to show you here when I got off the wheeler. You ever curious what a wolf track looks like? Here it is. Quite a big wolf track too. And this is a smaller track, so this is very interesting. We go right down the side of the road. I want to share this with you because right there is a rainbow and this place just continues to reward with its absolutely remarkable beauty and we are um, a little after 10 30 on a june 15th night in early summer alaska we're headed out we're wrapping up our evening it's almost 11 o'clock it's time to go home and we have a long ride we have not gotten to spot any bears tonight but the rainbow is a hint that it's time to wrap this up and i'm so glad you were able to come along with us map of where we went today. Quite a ways out there, didn't we? We feel so very blessed that you all come along with us as we hunt, we harvest, we homestead, and we adventure our way through our wildlife in the great land. We have a huge playlist dedicated to adventures in Alaska. Let's go there now. Send in your comments and let me know what you think.